I love rainy days because you never know what you're going to find between water and raindrops. I'll show you a couple of things. Come along. And of course, bridges. You see a bridge, you must definitely stop and enjoy the water area. Also, you always find something interesting. So you see, let's go over here just a little bit more. You see this, this branch leaning over. That's always a fascinating photo. Not just that particular, not just that particular one that's leaning all the way over. That's fascinating, of course. But the whole, you can kind of see all of the ones above it are also. So it kind of almost gives a appearance of, of a enclosed area just kind of shooting right down. So you can get some good shots like nature's own little cavern there. come over here a lot so it's always nice to see what the water is doing oh by the way we're in Rockland California and this is called Antelope Creek and it kind of looks more like Antelope River right now Or if you look down this way, you can even see the, even though it winds, you can even see way down there. So if you can get both of these in your shot, then it will be extra impressive. And of course, you also notice the, the tree that has gone across but wasn't so muddy and as I mentioned it's raining today it wasn't so muddy and slick we would take a a venture over there but we'll do that another day but it's always nice getting a picture of anything that might be crossing the river I was told that there are beavers further down there, maybe about a mile. So at some point, we'll take a look and see if we will see some of their activity, what they've done to the trees. And we'll see if maybe we may be lucky enough to see a beaver. And of course, if you're on a bridge, you're gonna to want to look at both sides. So let's look at Let's look at this side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So one of the things that is also amazing, makes a beautiful picture, is when you see a winding waterway. It just gives it kind of something, an extra feel of movement, an extra feel of you're actually maybe bringing a little bit of curiosity, wonderment as to where is it going? Where is it coming? Let's go on this way a little bit more and maybe we can see a little further down this creek which we can so we'll of course get some pictures of that. And 
sense it is it's more misty than rainy so one of the things that also makes for great pictures is water drops but we'll see and we'll see if we can find some but in the meantime I'd like you to notice this trail so getting trails in a picture also is amazing because it looks like someone may be going somewhere and it just brings again it gives a, the eye something to look at because the, the eye will naturally follow along to say I wonder where that's going so I see a leaf over there with a water drop on it and I'm gonna head over there hopefully without slipping I'm going to head over there to see if I can get a nice the closer you can get to a water drop the better so here's an active water drop right there if you are comfortable in spending time and being patient, you might even be able to get a reflection in a water drop, which is one of my absolute favorite things to do. We'll see how it comes out. You may hear my camera clipping and you will if you do you may notice that it is on sports mode and the reason why I keep it on sports mode is that you never know what's going to happen as you are taking the picture and sometimes it may go from one aperture setting to just a slightly different so if you are going to do something in Photoshop later or some other application like that it may not matter as much but if you want to do everything through the camera then strongly recommend taking pictures in sports mode. I actually learned that from a photographer from a newspaper who had shared some of his secrets with me before he retired. actually took pictures of people and their conversations in sports mode because he would be looking for perfect or unique facial expressions. may find even though this is a beautiful camera Canon 7D the most and best equipment for photography is your eye because you're always just looking no just look it you never know if you're going to see or maybe a unique perspective that you may not realize was there. And when you're taking pictures, please consider the different angles. So here we're looking at the bridge. This is kind of a straightforward picture, but it might be different if you are shooting from a lower angle. Yeah. 
and if there was something to stand on, you might even get it from a higher angle, but perspective is probably your next best thing. And if you were to look at a photography magazine or the work of great photographers, you would notice that a lot of them just have a unique perspective. Even though I mentioned earlier that we would stay more on the on the paved area I have to get that picture over there so it's gonna come with me watch this step that you're coming through here Seeing something that's actually crossing water is incredible. And as I mentioned, trying things from different perspectives. thing I'd like you to notice because again with your most valuable piece of equipment being your eye I want you to look at this, this leaf here look at those amazing water drops on there Also, if you look up, notice this tree here has apparently, is apparently very popular with woodpeckers. So you see all the holes in there. If you come on the right day, you may even find them in action. I know with the, with the water running, you may not be able to hear the birds. There's a few out today, but you can see that this is an area that the birds like because there is a nest there and there and there. But if you come at the right time of year, you may actually see a bird. That's the wonder of nature. You never see the same thing twice. Sometimes you might, but usually there's something interesting, unique, and just different. So let's head back this way. If you don't mind, watch your step. There's a broken little tree here, branch, which is kind of interesting right there. Okay, we're going to go over closer to it, take a few pictures. As you take pictures, please make sure to notice what's behind it. You've probably seen people take pictures of maybe a family member and they weren't really paying attention to what was behind that family member so there was a light bulb or a a lampshade 
that ended up making them look like they had a hat on they weren't too particular about. So please make sure to note what's behind it. And if it looks, if, you, well, if you're not sure, if you like the picture, get closer. So here you see all of the, the broken parts, whatever it was, but it was the weight, it was the wind, whatever it was, it just caused this, looks like a piece of modern art here, everything uniquely placed. And again, as we are kind of walking along, we're looking up. We're looking straight out ahead and we're looking down that path or that trail that we saw earlier. Now we don't have as much of the obstruction, so we'll get a picture of that. From multiple angles, of course. You mind walking down this way a little bit? Let's go. 